A South Lake Park named after a former Dallas Cowboy became the target for vandals and racism. And tonight, police want to know who's responsible. Our Steve Pickett live for us over at South Lake Town Square with the story for us. Steve? Well, as you know, Doug, this is South Lake's most popular place for dining and shopping. Many folks come here, but tucked away here is where we're standing right now, a smaller square, a park, Frank Cornish Park. It is named after the late South Lake resident who remained active in civic life uh, right here in this community after retiring from the NFL. As you mentioned, he once played for the Cowboys. Here's a picture with his family the night this park was actually dedicated in his name, a plaque that bears Frank Cornish's name that was sat here on the wall. It's gone now. The city removed it after vandals etched racist statements on it. KKK, it reads, will get you, black people. That's what was carved on that plaque sometime, they believe, last week. The mayor of South Lake called it a disgusting act and called for residents to stand against it. I spoke with council member John Huffman. What happened at Mr. Cornish's park and on his plaque does not reflect South Lake values, and which is another reason why myself and the mayor and the rest of council wanted to make such a strong statement and such a quick statement against it, and why we'll use this as an opportunity for a conversation about healing, a uh, conversation about uh, race and togetherness. Right here, this very spot, this is where the plaque was uh, erected originally back in 08. They've taken it away. They're going to restore it. They're going to bring a new one. But the concern here, obviously, is that people believe somebody here would do something this vile in this community. They won't stand for it. They believe somebody has some information. They need it to find out the person's responsible. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.